they collect data relating to opening, closing, and duration and use of third-party applications. So it's not just your official applications, they are now even logging data about the third-party applications you have installed on your device and nobody wants that. So 19th of June, Amazon is now pushing a brand new update to my third generation Fi TV Cube. And this update is also available for your Fi Sticks, Fi TVs, really any of the Amazon streaming devices. And I really have big concerns about this update because I've been led to believe that they're now collecting information about even your third party applications you have installed on your device. As we know, just like all of the bigger companies, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, these companies all rely on user data. They use that data for marketing, for adverts, really as much data they can collect from you, the more benefit is to them. And by default, these Amazon Fi Sticks, Fi TVs, by default have all of the options enabled for maximum data collection. And with this latest update, it looks like they're now focusing on third party applications where they want you to share information about those applications back to Amazon. So we definitely want to turn that off, but I'll also show you directly on the Amazon website where it actually mentions in the policy that we do collect certain data about your devices, about applications, about usage. I'll show you exactly how that's a part of the Amazon policy. So let's give this a few minutes. I'll then reboot my device and I'll quickly show you these new settings and also the settings that I personally recommend to ensure maximum privacy and of course, minimal data collection. And let me also give a big shout out to Doc Squiffy, whose video actually saw this new setting first. So let's give this a second. Okay, my device is now restarting. And just while we're waiting, guys, let me also ask that if you haven't subscribed to the channel, YouTube is telling me that more than 75% of you are watching my content, but you're not actually subscribed. So please do double check to make sure you are subscribed. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. Let's make sure my device does actually properly restart. Okay, so we're back in the home screen. Let me go over to the settings. Let's firstly confirm if the version number has changed. Let's go to my Fi TV. Let's click on that. Let's go to about and we can see my device has that version of the software version. And we can also see my Fi TV home version there. Let's double check there's no new updates. Okay, there's no more updates now. Let's go back. Now the setting we're looking for, this new setting that was added recently, is inside preferences. Let's open that up. Let's go to the privacy settings and we now have this manage sharing from application. So as the name implies, do you want to manage sharing of data from these applications? Let's click on that. And we can see now this is a brand new option and by default they have set this on. So please do double check on your device and leave me a comment below if this option was set on for you. And if you can see this new option on your device, because as with all things with regarding data collection, I would always recommend turning these options to off because the less data Amazon can collect about you, it also means that your device is less busy because it doesn't have to spend time collecting data, sending data back to Amazon, and it should also help with your performance. So let's turn that off. Yep, so we don't care about personalization, recommendation. We don't want Amazon to collect information from third-party applications. We don't want to share our viewing and content information back with Amazon. So I'm happy to turn this off. That's now off. So definitely do double check on your device and make sure that's set to off. Now, the other thing to double check because Amazon seem to have a habit of resetting certain settings. So after every update, I do double check certain settings to make sure once again, they're not collecting any extra data about my device. So let's go back. And these are the three settings here. So we got cookie consent should be off. Device usage data should also be off because why do I want anybody collecting information about my device? Collect app usage data should also be off. And we also have these interest-based adverts. So do double check on your device, make sure they are set to off. Now there is one other setting which also seems to randomly turn on. That's called app offloading. Now if I go back here, back again, if I now go to applications, and we can see on my device, it is set to off. Now I've seen it in previous cases where randomly this turns on. And what this basically means that Amazon will now check how often you're using certain applications. And if it finds that you're not using application X or application Y, it will then just remove that from your device until you need to use it again. So you can understand the logic behind it, but personally, I don't want Amazon interfering or uninstalling applications without my personal consent. So I would always recommend you turn this option off. 
Let's go back. Let me now show you in the policy exactly where it says about what they actually collect. Now we can see here that they actually mentioned that on these Amazon devices, they log the operating system of your device. They collect features like even things like navigation of the home screen. So that means as I'm navigating around, I'm clicking home, I'm going to settings, all of that data is actually being captured because I guess they want to monitor browsing habits, user habits, and they can use that to then push out adverts to your device. They also look at your device language. They look at your display size, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth options. All of these things are being captured. It says app usage data. You can opt out of this, but they collect data relating to opening, closing and duration and use of third party applications. So it's not just your official applications. They are now even logging data about the third party applications you have installed on your device and nobody wants that. So and I will leave that link in the video description if you want to check out that policy yourself. But overall, guys, we know the way Amazon works. They will like to sneakily enable certain settings, particularly settings which are related to data collection or monitoring what you're doing. So it is always worthwhile double checking to make sure you know exactly how your device is configured. And it is funny that we say it's our device because as you've seen in the past, Amazon just seemed to make changes like they still own these devices. So that's pretty much this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. The last thing I will just say that if you are looking for the best way to stay safe online, if you really want to just double down, make sure you've got maximum privacy, maximum protection. Really just keep your device safe whilst you're browsing your favorite third party applications, Kodi, streaming applications. The best way to do that is to use a VPN because when you activate a VPN, you're now no longer using your own IP address, which is your online digital fingerprint. Rather, you're using an IP address provided from your VPN service provider. And when you use this new IP address, you can access geolocked content. You can access Netflix libraries from all over the world and really just give you the best streaming experience. Right now, there's a super special offer for the VPN I personally recommend where you can get total protection for all of your devices, all of your applications, your add-ons, your APKs, your streaming apps. All of them can be covered with the VPN and they also give you unlimited connections. What that means is it doesn't matter if you've got three Fire Sticks, 10 Android TVs, two laptops, all of those devices, unlimited devices, will be covered with a single license. You get blazing fast speeds, so zero buffering, and they also have a verified no logs policy. So they're not logging anything, they're not monitoring anything. You really can stay anonymous whilst using this VPN. You can access all of your favorite applications, your Netflixes, your BBC iPlayers, your Hulus. All of your streaming applications can be unlocked by using this VPN. And to get all of that for just over $2 a month, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel, so many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.